Law Firm. This is Aaron. How may I help you? Good morning, Aaron. This is Andre in Horizon City. Good morning, Andre. Yes, sir. Uh, I was hoping I could leave a message for Sylvia first. Okay. That is how I pronounce it, right? First? Uh, yes. Okay, great. I think it's very inspiring to see the government reacting to the people in this day and age where there's not necessarily a lot of trust in government. People can still go down to their city hall and queue up and speak their mind and they're heard and they do affect change. And I find that very inspiring. It's democracy in its purest form. Yes, sir. Uh, I was hoping I could leave a message for Sylvia first. Okay. That is how I pronounce it, right? First? Uh, yes. Okay, great. Or I actually, I don't know if it would be a message for her. I know that she's the attorney that represents the city. I mean, I know that the law firm obviously represents the city, but I know that she's the one that works for Horizon City. Um, I don't know if this would be a message directly for her or just to the law firm in general, but I I basically have a question for her and the law firm. Okay. Uh, And so, (laughs) yeah, I don't know if you have your pen ready. Yeah, I do. I am. Okay, great. Uh, So, yeah, basically my question, um, maybe you could help me a little bit with the grammar here. I'm trying to figure out the right way to put this uh, question. Uh, My question is basically, uh, in regards to the 2024 uh, police union collective bargaining meeting between the town government of Horizon City, Texas, and the uh, you know the, the police union for the HCPD, yeah. for that particular um, deliberation, what are the costs? that are charged to the cities. I guess my question is, is like each uh, legal, I guess, activity, I don't know if that would be the right word, but is is like that particular uh, deliberation, is that charged a la carte for just that one instance or is it just a flat fee that's charged all year for representation to the city all year? That's basically my question is. Okay. Well, what are the legal expenses? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you're you're looking to see if um, the the police union meetings with with city or town of Horizon City, um, uh, what are the legal fees uh, incurred during these meetings, or if if it's a, a like a ongoing uh, charge for for the city, correct? Is that what you're? Yes, sir. I think that that's that pretty much summarizes what I'm trying to say. Okay. Um, Obviously, this is the type of uh, question or, you know, inquiry that I would do a public information act request for, and I probably will do one in the future, but I also wanted to do this phone call and just literally just straight up ask the law firm by this message mm-hmm. the question as well. Um, I, I Maybe someone at the law firm will say, oh, we can't answer that. I don't know. And if that's the case, then I'll just, like I said, I'll do a public information act request. But hopefully they can answer as well is what I'm hoping. Yeah. Got it. Um, And so you're just looking for the police union means, correct? Yes, sir. I mean... yeah, that, that's what I'm focusing on right now, as as you probably know, since we've had several phone calls regarding these police meetings. Um, mm-hmm. So, But obviously, if, if there's some sort of flat fee arrangement between the city and the law firm, which I don't know if that's normal or not, and I've never dealt with this stuff before. So if there is some sort of flat fee arrangement, like let's say there was just, you know, okay, Borquez Law Firm gets paid XYZ dollars, for the year 2024 and it's just that's the fee 
and it covers everything. You know, if, if that's the case, then I guess I am talking about everything. But if it's, if it's not, if it's like, you know, okay, well, this legal activity got performed on that date. Here's the charge. That legal okay. activity got performed on that date. There's the charge. That That's what I'm trying to figure out uh, first and foremost is just the structure of the fees. Uh, okay. And then from there, I also would like to know um, what, if that is an a la carte structure, you know, what it costs for the legal representation of each of the of the uh, bargaining meetings. Okay. Got it. Yeah. But I, I know I'm giving you mouthfuls of information here, so I, I'm actually kind of hoping you could uh, <laughs> translate and break it down for me if possible into something yeah. that can be interpreted by written. Yeah. I mean, um, so I'll go ahead and um, write this message up to Sylvia. Um, and cause I know for different cities, there's different different rates. I don't think there's like a blanket rate we charge to every city. Um, so it, it depends per city and and what the city's needs are. Um, but yeah, I'll get that message over to Sylvia. I'll put your email. Um, obviously, she knows uh, your email as well. Um, I can put your phone as a option. I know most of the time they're probably going to respond through email. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, type that up for her, um, and and I'll have her uh, reach back out to you. Yes, so you know me well. Um, email is what I prefer. Yeah. Um, I do have a phone number, obviously, but it's generally just a situation where I can make calls out, but trying to receive them. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Perfect. All right, Andre. Appreciate your call. I'll get that message over to Sylvia. Oh, uh, actually, that's one other thing I'd like to add um, yeah. to the message. Uh, and trust me, I know that you know you're being very patient with me. I'm not gonna take. It. I'm not trying to turn you into my secretary. I'm just, just I'm trying to keep the message as short as possible. I understand, but I would uh -huh. like to add one more thing, um, and that is, and before I say this, I I think I've mentioned this before, but I've dealt with so much information that I'm thinking maybe I didn't mention it. But so in the, in just this is a safety precaution. I want to mention this again by having you put this in the message. And that message, the last part of this message is, mm -hmm. um, I believe that on February 28th, 2024, and this is obviously all related to this whole thing dealing with the police union bargaining meetings between the uh, ACPD and the town government of Horizon City, Texas, that on February 28th, 2024, that the general public was not legally notified, not properly legally notified of the first collective bargaining association meeting between the town government and the ACPD police union on February 28, 2024, the very first meeting. Okay. Because uh, a portion of the Texas Open Meetings Act was not followed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Regarding the notice requirement. Okay. Got it. And uh, the very, very last thing I'd like to add is just that uh, that law, which I'll read to you whenever you're ready. Okay. All right. So this is the... Uh, Yeah, Texas Government Code, Section 551.041, Notice Requirements. Okay. Okay. So 551.041, Notice Requirements. Yes. Uh, yeah, Texas Government Code, Chapter 551. And then the section was... Uh, 041. Yeah, Section 551.041. Got it. Notice requirements. And uh, you don't have to put this in the message, but just as one, a little additional note here is that when you actually look at that law, 
It's uh, very, very short, very, very straightforward. So there's a case law. Like once you actually start researching this case law that's associated with that particular uh, law, uh, but the actual law itself is literally like one or two sentences. It's very straightforward. Hello? Yes, I'm here. Uh, did I oh, cut out? Yeah, I, I, I didn't hear anything for, for a quick second. Oh, uh, where did I cut out? Uh, so I, I, heard the, I heard the uh, the noise requirements, and I heard you start speaking, and then it cut out. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I thought I had a good signal. but um, So, yeah, all I was going to say is that, um, and I guess you could put this at the very end of the notice, that uh, Section 551.041 is a very plain and straightforward uh, law in the Texas Government Code. It is not complicated. And the reason I mention that is because uh, the individual that posted the notice, um, apparently, like I'm not trying to attack her. Her name is Lieutenant Valdez. Mm -hmm. You know, she immediately, when I started trying to discuss that with her, she uh, was saying, oh, well, I don't know any of that stuff. That's the lawyers deal with all that. And so I feel that that's, that's, that should be communicated to the law firm and to the town government is that, you know, some of this stuff doesn't have to necessarily have a lawyer dealing with every little thing because some of it's very simple and straightforward. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so I really appreciate you taking the message, Aaron. Absolutely, Andre. I'll get that message over to Sylvia and have a great rest of your day. Oh, you too. Happy Monday. Happy Monday.